Hi, so in video 1616, they use this thing, which is uh, an Amazon low thermal different Stirling engine that we bought from Amazon. And we ran it from the cold instead of the hot. And what's more, we made that cold using the sun, which I thought was all very cool. But there's a great comment posted by Andy Archer. He said, OK, that's great, Rob, but how do we make it a generator? Hang on a second. I bet what you're going to do is stick magnets around the edge like you done before and Andy you both asked and answered your own question you are entirely right that's what I would do with something like this because this thing has little needle bearings on it to make sure that it's nice and free spinning so it's very difficult to attach something to the actual axle but then of course we've done it where we've put magnets around the rim of a disc for lots of good reasons in lots of different videos. I mean, we've done two meter versions and we've done tiny versions. What happens is the further away from the rotating axle you get, the faster the speed. So we get a high speed of rotation of that magnetic field. And remember, generation is covered by three factors, magnet field strength, speed of the changing magnet and number of turns in the coil. So if we can get a high speed out of something, we're going to get great generation. Now this is meant to run from a teacup, so you're not going to light a block of flats with it anytime soon. There's not a lot of energy in a slightly warm cup of coffee. So we can do something with something like this to show the principle works. And then of course what we'd be doing is looking at scaling it up. So it's easy enough to turn this into a generator. What we would do is put magnets somewhere around the rim. Now, of course, somebody else has made this. We haven't made it for that. We have two choices. You can either stick it on this bit here using a magnet like this. So we've got a small, there we go, right on the edge. Now, to do that successfully, what we really need to do is flatten that edge. But basically, you just glue them on. The other thing that we can do is we can use the flat edge here and either infill these spaces or just accept that the spaces are there and live with the spaces and use disc magnets, something like this. And then we can take a magnet north and south, there we go, and glue them on there like that. And then we'll have another magnet arrangement. We go all the way around the rim with either of those arrangements. And we'll create ourselves the basics of a generator. Of course, I'm going to do the simplest thing. And that is stick them around the rim there. I could put them on here, but I'm just going to do it around there just to show the principle. So let's stick some magnets around that rim. Okay, that's it with its magnets on. And what we need to do now to make it a generator is stick a coil on. Now I have this. This is a coil from a solenoid. And it's kind of cute because it's in scale with everything. And we can fit it right there. So we'll fit that and that's our generator done. Okay, so now we've done our adaptation. What we actually need is a circuit. We've got our coil coming off. First thing to do is put it through a rectifier. So you put it through a rectifier, take it off, and then we're going to be charging a capacitor. And we're going to do two things. One, we're going to read what that charge in the capacitor actually is. And another thing is we're going to try and light an LED with it because this thing will do work. Now, lighting an LED isn't much of a challenge, but this is a toy with a tiny number of magnets and a minute coil. But to get it going, what we need is a cup of gel. And here's a nice hot cup of something. We'll pop that on, give it a second, it should get going. Okay, that's pretty cool. That's giving us just less than half a volt, 0.443 of a volt. Okay, 0.4 of a volt, probably parts of a milliamp. That's very cool to be able to ge generate anything from this on a cup of hot water or a cup of hot coffee. But let's see if we can light the LED. Now to light the LED, we're just gonna need that little bit more heat. So what I'm gonna use is a tea light. So we'll put it on some legs and the legs are these here. They're just some magnets and we stick them on and we'll be able to lift that up as if it's got legs. Light the tea light, stick it in there and see if we can light that LED. So there we are, generating from a cup of hot coffee and a tea light. I mean, 
these things are astounding when you make a few adaptions to them. And I get asked quite a lot, well, why aren't we using sterlings? And do you know, I have absolutely no idea. I see lots of research on it. I see lots of people running projects. I see lots of uh, large-scale solar installations where they're using it. But I never see it in home use. I suspect it's because we've got a love affair with solid state. And this is a machine, so, you know, it is going to wear out over time and it's going to need maintenance etc 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 so maybe that plays a large part in it i'm not too sure but these things can be made to generate relatively easily from this toy scale right the way up and in fact i've seen uh, low thermal difference engines two meters across busy pumping water away so they're fascinating things with a huge number of um, applications the main thing in the video, obviously, is this arrangement of magnets here. Because remember, that arrangement of magnets increases the speed that the magnets pass the coil by, but it also reduces the amount of torque needed to turn that coil, that those magnets. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching, and please do remember to like and subscribe.